We are at the Maple Grove Resort and Golf Course in Randall, Washington. We've been here for about 10 days. Um, actually, maybe 12 because I think tomorrow's our last day. And then we take off. We're going to go north a little bit. Um, getting, We're getting closer to the Canadian border, expecting to cross um, around May 13th-ish. Uh, we have appointments for Bailey to get his medical clearance and um, yeah we're looking at, we're really excited about it. A lady was they had just cut this grass and a lady um, was out here the other day and uh, her two dogs got ticks um, so she was really sweet warning us um, not to or just check Bailey out for ticks if he decides to roll around in the grass. We have daily sightings of uh, about six peacocks and there's bunnies everywhere that drive Bailey crazy and he wants to chase them all the time. They were like fighting butt to butt. The sign is the Coast to Coast Five Star Resort sign. We are staying um, at this park through coast to coast. Um, it's kind of like Thousand Trails, certain parks where um, you stay for two weeks and it's at no, no extra cost. Uh, full hookup, 30 amp. There's only um, two 50 amp sites here and I believe they belong to the campos. Really not that many RVs here yet. Um, the season really hasn't started. I counted yesterday we were one of 11 here, not including the campus which we live here. It's a really nice golf course here. We don't play golf. But it's really nice and green to look at. We have a fire pit there. So when you check in, you have to check in here. But then you have to go around the circle here and come back to go out and around. Um, all RVs have to do that. Here's the entrance to the golf. It's so peaceful. I mean, it's quiet right now because of, um, it's off site, off season. I want to go walking on the golf course. I just want to do, I want to go walking on the golf course path. It looks so pretty, but unless I pay for a round of golf, I can't go walking on the golf course. section. Um, we don't know if they're going to reopen it for the season. Last week we took a hike to the Iron Creek on the Iron Creek Trail um, which is about I think a four mile drive from here. It's in the Guilford Pin Pincho National Forest. Two days ago we found a really nice path down to the beach. And um, yesterday we went there again and Bailey had such a blast. How adorable! Yeah. You gonna run? Let's go! <laughs> okay, I run! I run with you, come on! Go boy, go, 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 go! Let's go! 
Oh my god, that was funny. Oh, that's a good boy. I bet you jumped up good. He's such a good boy. He loves to be off leash. He loves that he knows that we can trust him. And he loves proving that we can trust him. Hello. <laughs> good boy. Oh, what a good boy you are. Go get mom. So, there's a little bit of so this is the Cowlitz River on the north side of the bridge. There's no riverbanks left. We were playing right there on the edge of the bank yesterday and now there's no riverbank. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's very great. Oh, I got closer windows. We are at the Gifford Pinchot National Forest picnic site of the Iron Creek um, area. Uh, three years ago, when Neil and I started full time RVing, this was um, one of the first places I planted a rock, a painted rock, and one of our places that we took a hike that we really enjoyed. Ferns everywhere. It's just so peaceful. I think um, you might hear me say that a lot because I'm always looking for peaceful places. So here's a down tree. All centuries of growth are captured inside the thick roof bark of this ancient Douglas fir. Old growth loop trail. So now he's just trying out um, his drone. He got a new drone. And it's just, it's we're just testing out the follow me. It's not for video, it's um, to. But we couldn't find any sign that said no drones. And we look. So we wanna, um, it has, so it's supposed to have this really incredible follow you feature that can uh, navigate around trees and branches and bushes and Bailey says I'm going this way. Okay, so Neil told me to come out and stand in front of the drone. Come here, Bailey. Come here. I walk. I walk in. Oh, okay. It's following me? Cool. Well, I'm moving now, so it's got to follow me. He knows. <laughs> He's guiding us. Trail number 83, one third mile loop. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, so we're out hiking on his birthday. We're expecting to have rain over the next, I don't know how many. One good day to do it for a while. I think that for the next five days, it's supposed to be raining. We made it across the tree and then ba Bailey started pulling hard. He's on a mission. Are you letting everybody know we're here? A little brown bird. Tiny little thing. <laughs> Sending bird morse code, that's right. What is it called? The Zolio's a what? The 
satellite communicator. Oh, okay. So just in case we're when we're traveling to Alaska in a few weeks, just in case we have no cell reception, um, we wanted to have something available, uh, just in case. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't know what you're going after, but you gotta wait until I see it too. I know what you're going. No, it could be a skunk for all you know. I thought it was the end of the road, but apparently there's still more through the tree. Okay, well, let's just go this way. I hear water. I want to go towards water. Going to my happy place, wherever there's water flowing. The tree literally fell right there. Wow. It's a trail that I'm there. Look how long that tree, the one that fell right here, look how long it is. Yeah. Huge fallen tree. Oh, oh uh, we can't go any further. The path is gone. It's completely gone. Okay, let's go find another path. Love, love being in the forest, in nature, near waters, near streams. I feel I'm at most peace. And Neil feels the same way. So we're always seeking out these kind of adventures. Different trail since the trail was uh, gone. So we're just trying to make our way back. It's uh, to the truck. We're trying to find our truck since the, uh, <laughs> the the path was broken. We turned around, went up another trail, but now we don't know where our truck is. So we're just hiking around the campground until we find it. Oh, this is a nice sight. Look at this one. It really long. This is site 63. Really nice and long. You can hear the water. 1.78 is how much we walked in 45 minutes. Back in the truck, and we're done with that hike. So, thank you for watching.